Come on to my house or my house, I'm gonna keep for you candy. Come on to my house or my house, I'm gonna keep you figs and dates and grapes and cakes. I'm dressed like this because I'm a refugee from the Pride Parade. <laughs> And I don't mind that, but I can't take that parade. Let me tell you, if I wanted to see guys bare butts, I'd have been straight. <laughs> and then the, the opportunity to shake hands with Mr. Airhead of Canada, Justin Trudeau, I don't know, I passed it up. I don't know why I would do that. But the um, thing is, you get to be very particularly popular during Gay Pride Week. I mean, I have friends, but you know, the straight friends, they're just coming at you from every direction. They call and say, Mary Lee, you're going to the Pride Parade. I say, no, I'm tired. She's, they say, but we're going, my daughter's in. My office, we're going. We're donors, we're sponsors. And I'm thinking, okay, be gay for a day. That's okay. You know, and just, just go right ahead. It, it gets better, I tell you, it gets better. But that's, that's pretty much not my, uh, big political thing. I mean, it takes a while to get used to being gay. I'm 70, I'm the only 71-year-old lesbian comic around, right? <laughs> and uh, uh, I glad to hear all the masturbation jokes. You know, one can relate to that. Because, like, I, I, I live alone. Um, I'm sure it's not my personality, you know, it's probably, but, so I, <laughs> it may be my clothing choice. Yeah, cause, yeah. But the thing is that you, if you live alone, you don't get a lot of feedback, you know, you, who you really are. So I, every once in a while have, have friends, and I had this friend, a comic from Ireland actually, so you know, she came and stayed for two weeks, but it was the oddest thing in terms of feedback. Because like within three hours, she's saying things like, uh, merely, uh, does it hurt a dog to wash them? Will it hurt their skin? You know, what does that tell me? You know, and then she's offering all these friendly things like, uh, really, I do a little bit of vacuuming for you. What is she trying to tell me? And so then I, I told her, I said, no, I did it six months ago. There's no point in doing that. Yeah. And then and then I wanted to like fix a meal for her. I thought, you know, be social. So I did what I do in living alone. You know, I own this can of black beans, and then I own this can of lentils and coconut and milk. I mix it all together. Actually, it's fairly impulsive, doesn't it? Anyway, so I mix all this, and I put in tomatoes and everything, and I say, okay, you're there. And she says, you know, I'm, 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 I'm really full. You know, I had a big dinner, and I think, I'm not that dumb. She's been nine hours on a plane. How much food are you going to get, particularly if it's Air Canada? <laughs> so, yeah. so I decided the thing to do, if I'm going to have guests again, you know that saying about the guests and fish, you know, smell after three days? It's actually two. And then the other thing is I'm going to give them a special gift coupon to Airbnb. It's the only way. <laughs> That's all right. I mean, just come and visit me anytime. I won't cook. And then the other thing is... <laughs> The other thing is, like, at my age, you often enough go to reunions and stuff like that. I mean, if you're just out of high school, you're not going to have a high school, you know, maybe a year or two later. But I go to these things, like the 50-year reunions and more, you know. And the trouble is, just like one of our other comics mentioned, over time with aging, particularly you tend to gain weight, right? If you lose a weight, you're dead. But <laughs> If you gain, well, you know, you gain and you gain again. So I go to these reunions and I'm thinking, how am I going to recognize people? Because, you know, by the time you put them, so I said to myself, and I was just at the reunion of all of us that got arrested when I was at Berkeley, and I'm saying, that's my, my, my life in a slammer. But, um, so I said, look at their eyes, look at their eyes, you will see the person. It doesn't work. So what I want for the next reunion is sort of like a social vacuum, okay? That you had kind of a dust buster, and you could like hug people, go hug, and then reach back behind their head and go, you know, you just suck it all back. <laughs> and then you could see who it was, and you say, oh, that's the one. I slept with her. I slept with her. That was it. The, the, the Bob Dylan all night long, you know, lay, 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 yes. But <laughs> the trouble is, then you let go and you say, I slept with that one. <laughs> and you know she's thinking the same thing about you, right? 
So anyway, uh, because I'm running out of time, I'm going to spare you all the rest of this exec to say the trouble with transit is you can't sit as a senior. I know the segues are brilliant. <laughs> sit because if you're a senior they keep popping up everywhere you know and just and what if you want to sit somewhere else and so finally I realized what I have to do if I want freedom of seating I'm gonna have to wear a hoodie covered in right here I'm gonna have to wear a mask covered in chubby face and then I can just sit anywhere in that place anywhere or else I'm just gonna go as me empower myself walk to the back and say you up I'm traveling in stock thanks very much